Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how to get your webcam working in VirtualBox. So this is actually really simple and I get this question quite a bit. And this also is going to fix your USB devices not working with VirtualBox either. So this is really simple. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it real quick. So first thing you want to do is head over to VirtualBox.org and you're going to see a little downloads link over here on the left hand corner. And when you click on that, you can scroll down a little bit, and there's a little download link right here. It says VirtualBox Extension Pack. So you can see this is going to give you support for USB 2.0 and 3.0 devices and a whole lot more. So all you got to do, click that link, and it's going to download it for you. And when it does download, you're going to see that it is just a green box, and that's just how VirtualBox files look. So you just double click it to open it and it's going to open up actually in the VirtualBox manager and you're going to get this little window pop up right here. Now I already have it installed so that's why it says it's already installed and to reinstall it but you're not going to have it installed so you're going to see an install button right here and I know this is a little bit scary it says this could potentially be harmful to your system. Basically they're just kind of covering themselves because this could be downloaded from other sources and it could potentially be malicious because this is doing a lot of you know in-depth system stuff I mean we're going to be accessing USB devices, disk encryption, webcams, I mean all sorts of stuff so be sure you download it from the legit virtualbox.org and you shouldn't have any problems so when you're ready you can go ahead and click on that install button and you're going to get a license agreement pop up just hit agree to it and it's then going to pop up obviously install it's going to ask you to enter your password but I already have it installed so that's why it's not working too well there but let's go ahead and show you what it does so once it gets installed you may have to restart your virtual machine if you got it running but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. If we head into the camera, which Windows has a built-in camera application, I think. Yes, they do. So we can go ahead and go into the camera app. And it's going to pop up here. Pretty much blank is what it should do. Yeah, we can't find your camera. Now you may be like, why isn't this working? We just installed the extension pack. So what you have to do actually is you have to enable each individual device that you want. And the way you do that is you go up here to the devices menu bar. So the little tab on your menu bar that says devices. And you can see a list of devices right here. So your optical drives, your audio inputs, your network, USB devices. And then right here is your webcam. So we're going to use the built-in MacBook webcam, so the FaceTime HD camera and watch what happens when you click on it. You're going to hear the little chime like you just inserted a USB device and there it is. There I am right there. So you can see that the webcam now works. Now obviously this is laggy. I mean it's probably pretty unusable but hey you got your webcam. Now if we want it we could go up here to audio and we could then input our audio as well. So now it's accessing the built-in microphone too. So we have audio output and input. So if you need to hop on you know, a test proctoring service, it seems like that's the most common thing people always ask. Like, hey, can I use my virtual machine to do that? Well, yeah, you can. Um, but yeah, that's how you enable your webcam in VirtualBox, and if you want to disable it at any time, you just click on it again, and it's going to disable it. So, very simple to enable and disable your webcam and your microphone if you need it. And by the way, this also works for USB devices. So, if you want it to plug in a flash drive or an external hard drive or something like that, you just go into USB right here and click on the one you want, and enable it. So yeah guys, that's how you enable uh, your webcam and other devices in VirtualBox. Let me know down below if it worked for you or you got any questions or problems that you may have run into. 
But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next video.